Take your mark. Up. Take your mark. Hop. Wait, let's take your mark. Hop. Chicken as well, uh, he'll be swimming 100 back. He'll be swimming 100 back, yeah. Yeah. Today. Um, this is how I begin my day, and uh, I'll see you back in the pool. Right now, uh, right now I'm back at the pool, um, preparing for my next event, which is the 4x50 freestyle relay. Um, it'll be in around 30 minutes. Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up? What's that? My vlog for media oh, studies. What's up? <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be preparing for a 4x50 freestyle relay. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty strong relay, you know. We got Leon and some other guys doing it. So we might be able to take another goal or at least another medal for this year. He's got the underwaters. Let's go, Jason! Go! Go! Pick up the bags, let's go! Good job, Jason! So, um, so pretty much today I finished I finished with my swims. Uh came second in the 53 preliminaries and Second in the 4x50 freestyle relay heats. So next next Thursday will be the finals, and um, looking forward to that. And hopefully winning a gold. Um, the event's just finished, and I think behind is like the final heat for the 4x50 medley relay. And thank you for watching this part of the HKSF vlog, and I hope you enjoyed it. And definitely add me on social media and subscribe. Thanks. So so right now um. The footage you'll see is from day two finals day of the HKSF inter school competition. And I hope you enjoy watching my races and please take your time and um, to watch my races. They'll be exciting. <laughs>
Okay, um, so some of you guys might want to know what the HKSF Interschool Competition is and how it works. So basically, um, right now there's three divisions. So it's, it's from Division 1, 2, and 3. But however, Division 3 is uh, separated into like areas like Hong Kong Island, Kowloon Island, and New Territories. Um, so right now, our school, West Island School, is in, participates in Division 2 HKSF. Uh, for the boys, but the girls are in Division 1 this year, so the, they're quite fortunate, you know, like, they have to race uh, the top schools such as the Ocean Girls School, which is, which they haven't been defeated in 30 years. If they win this year, it'll be their 31st year without a defeat. And, um, so how does the system work? So basically, um, this competition is based on the school, it's pretty much based on, like, each school would have to find the fastest swimmers, for, uh, for each event, but um, the maximum amount of events per swimmer is two, and um, the maximum swimmer, the maximum amount of swimmers per event is two. So that which means that I can only swim two events, and the school can only enter two swimmers per event. So in some cases, it might not be that good, because you never know. There might be some schools which has like really fast swimmers in the same event, so more than two, such as DBS, I'm pretty sure, which is the Shoshin Boys School. So how does system work? So basically, um, if we come top two, we'll get promoted, oh, I mean overall, we'll get promoted to Division 1, which will be against the top schools in Hong Kong. You know, it's, it's such an honor to be part of Division 1 because you'll see this unreal atmosphere where Every school or most schools bring the cheering team along, and the atmosphere is insane. Um, it's definitely something that you, you don't want to miss, and I highly recommend you guys watching it maybe on, on a live stream because it's, it's really exciting. The times are a lot faster in Division 2. Um, however, I'm still really proud to be in a Division 2 school which takes part in the competition because it gives me more opportunity to win more medals. But once you win a lot of medals, then you kind of look back and be like, I want to swim in that atmosphere because the atmosphere is insane. Every every school will bring some sort of a choir or like a cheering team where um, they all pretty much clap and cheer for the school as loud as they can. Sometimes um, riots can happen because um, just because of, of the team spirit they have, you know. But unfortunately, my school that doesn't really have that good team spirit, which I'm quite disappointed with. Um, I kind of wish we had a cheering team because I, I feel like we, we would do a lot better. And only if we had focused on swimming a little bit more, I feel like more people do running in our school. And um, to get relegated, I think you have to go, I, I think you have to be bottom three. So which means if you come bottom three overall per gender, so boys and girls. So let's say if, if we come last for the boys overall, but the girls come first. Then the girls will move up while we move down to D2. D3, sorry. But if we're already in Division 3, we can't get moved down. So that's quite good. Um, But it, it works for the same for all. But if we're in Division 1, then you can't get moved up. Because that's top division already. So um, I hope you guys um learned something new maybe about the inter-school history. And a fun fact, uh, the Shoshin Boys School haven't lost for 25 years. And I think they'll win this year. So I think it'll be their 26th year with with their um, great history of winning. Um, the biggest rival is actually St. Joseph's College, which is located in mid-level central, around there. Um, so I feel like St. Joseph doesn't have that strong of a team this year, so I feel like it's DBS all the way. And I hope you understand my explanation of this and learn something new. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching my HKSF journey, um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really fun process making this vlog. And um, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also su subscribe to, your, to my website where you receive new updates about the website. So whenever something new comes out, you you'll be notified about it. And um, remember to follow me on Instagram at JasonCSLee. 
um, everything will be should be on the screen or that description. Thank you for watching.